Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss another example in which we will be controlling three motors. We will be also using some timers like on delay timer and pulse timer. So, let's look at the example first. Example 31 When switch is on, after 5 seconds, motor 1 will be on. After 10 seconds, motor 2 will be on. After 15 seconds, motor 3 will be on. And after 20 seconds, all the motors will be off. That means when switch is turned on, after 5 seconds, it will wait for 5 seconds. And after 5 seconds, motor will turn on. And it will remain on for 15 seconds. Because after turning on the switch, after 20 seconds, all the motors should be off. So after 10 seconds, motor 2 will be on and then after 15 seconds, motor 3 will be on. Motor 2 will be on for 10 seconds and motor 3 will be on uh, for 5 seconds. So when switch is turned on after 20 seconds, all the motors will turn off. So for this example, we will use a normally open contact for switch and for motors, we will use timers like T on and TP. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal. I will click here and go to PLC tags. Here, default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have only one input that is switch. And then we have three outputs, motor one, motor two and motor three. Motor one. So I will change its address to Q0.0 .0, as it is an output so the address will be Q0.0 .0, and then I will drag it like this. So motor 2 and motor 3 will be automatically fetched. And then <coughs> I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will minimize this and then zoom into it like this. So here I will insert a normally open contact for switch. So I will write S and select switch from the list. And then we have motors. So motor 1, this coil for motor 1, I will select motor 1. This motor 1 will turn on after 5 seconds. So I will insert a timer, T on, timer operation and then T on. <coughs> okay. And then I will... Preset value, I will give the preset value as 5 seconds. And then this motor 1 will be on for 15 seconds. So I will use one more timer that is TP pulse timer and the preset value will be 15 seconds. After that, <coughs> I will open the branch here and then I will insert a coil that will be for motor 2. So I will write M and select motor 2, but this motor 2 will turn on after 10 seconds. So I will use one more timer that will be T on and the pulse, the, the preset value will be 10 seconds. But this motor 2 will, should remain on for 10 seconds. For that, I will use a timer TP and the preset value for this timer will be 10 second it will turn on after 10 second and it will it should remain on for 10 second after that i will open the branch and then i will insert one more coil here and that will be for motor 3 i will write m and select motor 3 this motor 3 should turn on after 15 seconds. For that, I will use one more timer that will be T on and the preset value will be 15. Fifteen second, not millisecond. And then this motor 3 should remain on for 5 seconds only. So I will use pulse timer here. And the preset value will be 5. So, 5 seconds. So, here 
When switch is turned on, it will wait for 5 seconds and motor 1 will turn on and after 10 seconds, motor 2 will turn on and after 15 seconds, motor 3 will turn on and after 20 seconds, all the motors will turn off. So motor 1 will remain on for 15 seconds, motor 2 will remain on for 10 seconds and motor 3 will remain on for 5 seconds. So let's start the simulator here. Click on OK. Click on load and then we need to click on finish. After that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. <clears throat> After that, I will expand this, go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and then load project tags. So as you can see here, When I turn on switch 1, so as you can see here, it will wait for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds, motor 1 will remain turn on and it will wait for 10 seconds and motor 2 will turn on and after that, it will wait for 15 seconds and motor 3 will be on and after 20 seconds, all the motors will turn off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.